And what an honor it is to speak to you. Uh, good morning. Thanks very much indeed for making time to chat to us. It's lovely to have you on the program. Uh, so, Thank you so much for having me. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, really exciting times ahead. We're literally counting the days to the special live concert in Dubai, where yeah. we're told you're going to be sharing the stage with multiple people, including Hans Zimmer and Lebu M. Part of what yeah. I understand is that in the lead-up to this concert, Hans Zimmer needed some kind of... Um, let's call it involvement from an African artist. And I, I suppose that's where you come in. Take us through the conversations yes. that took place. You know, um, I actually, um, it's, everything is happening through Lebo M. And I know Lebo M for a lifetime. And Lebo believes in South African talent a lot. And I think he has this heart for great talent that he wants us to share, to be shared with the world. And so when I was approached, this is not the first time he's been, he's asked me to actually go out there into the world. I just, the times were not right. But this time I was excited because it's Hans Zimmer and he's putting us together to perform on an amazing, amazing tour. Um, most of the days we will be saying later, but the one that is most exciting is the one that is coming up now. Uh, it's two shows on the 27th and the 28th. Uh, in, in, in Dubai at the, it's, it's actually a beautiful, beautiful dome, the Coca Cola dome, so arena. So I'm excited about that. Absolutely. And in fact, we were showing visuals of the moments where you were collaborating with Lebu M in, I imagine, other projects. But I mean, yes. take us through the kind of, I guess, music we can expect because Hans Zimmer, at least from the music yes. I've come across, produces very theatrical scores, mostly for movies and games. Yes. And your sound has its own unique sound, so to speak. So how are we planning to merge yeah. these two things? This is what I love about music. Music does not say stick to this genre. If you're a musician, I've always said that I want to be called a singer because I'm able to sing every genre. But with him, with Hans Zimmer, um, I f firstly, I love all the movies that he has written, uh, he has fought for as a composer. And um, there's Wonder Woman, there's Batman, there's The Gladiator, Interstellar, there's a whole lot of them, The Lion King. Yeah. But me, when I'm looking at the whole show, I actually love the set where I get to share with, with Lebo M. I think that's the, the, one of the most um, exciting part of the show because most of the concerts we're watching, that's where we get a standing ovation. So <laughs> it is the most amazing, beautiful moment. And you can hear with the diversity of the music, you know, it's like it's, it's all in one. It's love in one. And I love, I'm just going, I think this is a musician's dream to be able to be around an orchestra of about 60 people. I think they're all over the world, from Russia, from everywhere. And we get to all be in one house and share this music and show people that collaboration, this is what collaboration should be about. So we need to invest more in what we're doing, but also share the gifts with one another. So I'm excited about this. Absolutely. Uh, the other fringe benefit, of course, is that we get to take music from this country, from this continent, to a different yeah. continent, in a country where perhaps <laughs> people might not expect to hear this kind of sound. Absolutely, and I'm definitely going to represent, definitely. Lebu's already okay. doing it, you know, for us, so I'm definitely going to add into that. Yeah, Lebu M, as you've mentioned, clearly has a big influence in this project uh, and several others you've been in, involved in. I guess, yeah. how would you describe the relationship you have with him? Oh, my God, he's a, he's a brother, he's a friend, very good friend, and, you know, he loves, he's, he's one of the most talented musicians, actually, that... I, and sometimes I, I look at him when we're in the studio and I'm singing and he gets excited at, at, at uh, for example, a high note. He just starts jumping around like a 16-year-old. He doesn't want to get old, <laughs> so which is a beautiful thing. So he is absolutely, absolutely exciting to work with. He is absolutely fun to be around. He's a friend when we sit together and we're talking and he will be there for you. He's very supportive. Uh, I was concerned about the music and I said, okay, which one, how to end? He just took me through the entire show before we even get there. So it's absolutely amazing. And the whole team as well from the Hans Zimmer Live concert, uh, they are all amazing. I'm learning so much. I think for me musically as well as Judith Sipuma coming back home, my shows will be different because of how I'm going to be learning from everybody from outside of the country. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was hoping to ask you next. I mean, this is not your first yeah. stint um, where you're collaborating yeah. with international artists. You've worked with B.B. Winans, Aleta Adams, yeah. in fact, Shaka Khan, oh. in some instances, yeah. is someone you've shared a stage with. How does that yeah. influence the kind of musician you become when you come back home? Because, let's face it, you also have your own signature in your music. 
Yes, yes. The first thing that I always do is I protect that signature. Uh, I believe, you know, in South Africa, I, I need to have a grounding, and I believe that I have made, and I'm still continue to make a very good grounding where my career is concerned. So everybody else that comes out of anywhere else in the world, they are enhancing what is already there for me. And that is why I always say, we never stop learning, you know. Um, I, I'm telling you now, I possibly will be, I said to level that I'm possibly going to be on the side of the stage the whole time because rehearsals, are, I've got so many rehearsals, which is another exciting part. So those people come into my career to add so much value. I want the value. I am curious about how they do this, how they do this in the in the, in the in the whole twenty years of me being in the music industry. I feel like I'm just about to begin starting to learn something absolutely amazing about this industry of ours. And there's a lesson somewhere in there, isn't there? I mean, yeah, this idea absolutely. that we, we really never stop learning. And absolutely. I wonder what your reflections around that are. In a context where sometimes there are, let's call them concerns, that people in my generation feel like there is a time where you have arrived. But the message yeah. you're sending today is far from it, in fact. You're constantly learning yeah. even 20 years down the line. Yeah, no, I, 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 everybody that I work with, including Lev M, when you sit with them, you'll realize that there's so much that we can still learn from one another. And um, watching emails go backwards and forwards, you know, be between everybody, I'm just realizing that, I mean, I have a group with my musicians, and I wanted to say that to them, guys, when I say rehearsal, please respond, because everybody, however many they are, everybody is responding to say, we have the music, we have this, they, they keep talking about DB, this, changing this, but everybody is involved and everybody acknowledges. That's where it all begins for me, to be able to learn, to say, I have, I'm not available for rehearsal, I am this, I'm this, don't tell me on the day of rehearsal that, oh, I thought you knew. You know, it really, really is, it goes it, it, what we take very small is very big for me. You know, uh, something like we have a show and, oh, my God, I forgot I double booked myself. I wasn't away. And it, those things cannot happen. They do not happen in the world out there because everything is structured so accordingly. So we have a lot to learn. I am going to learn that. But more than anything, any artist of ours who feels they have arrived, they've got a long way to go. It's a, it's a, it's a jungle out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I guess another benefit of, of being in Dubai is that you won't have to deal with things like load shedding, which we're saddled no. with here at home. <laughs> and I, just, <laughs> I just got back from Dubai and there's no load shedding and it's beautiful and hot. I'm looking forward to the entire experience. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. I, I, on a more serious note, though, um, the power yeah. cuts have had a devastating impact on people across all spectrums, you know, it cuts across yeah. um, society. I wonder in what ways as artists you imagine you might be impacted, especially because the situation it feels is only getting worse. Um, I remember the last time when I had an interview, uh, I think it was right here, and load shedding happened and it affected the network. And that is why it, it cannot happen. I'm praying that something different will happen. So it affects us a lot. It affects uh, the small businesses. It's almost like life has to stop yeah. when load shedding happens. And now it's getting worse. You know, we're getting into four hours, three times a day, twice a day. So um, it's, it's not, it's not a, a good situation for us right now as artists, as anybody, everybody. People have to actually leave home early to go home early because there's load shedding. Mm. So um, life kind of like stops when that happens. Yeah, there may be no power here at home, but you're certainly shining the light on the international stage. Thanks very much indeed um, uh, for your work and thanks for speaking to us. All the best with that project Thank you. on the 27th Thank you. of January. Judith Sapuma, of this, an Afro jazz musician, uh, set to share the stage with several international artists later on this month.